Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I am back with one interesting topic on demand of many students that is crook. So in this video we will discuss the meaning of crook, its properties and we will solve one example to form a group with two operations. As you can see I have already written the statement of the group. What do you mean by group? So let's go through group. Let capital G be a non-empty set and star be any binary operation on it. So what we have to do is to discuss the definition of the group we have to take any non-empty set. That is in this definition I have taken G. G can be anything. It can be a set of natural numbers. It can be a set of whole numbers. It can be a set of integers etc. So let G be any non-empty set and star be a binary operation. But a star, kya hai? star can be any operation. It can be addition operation. It can be multiplication operation and so on as it will be mentioned in the question. So let G be a non-empty set and let star be a binary operation on it. This is what I have written. G star. This is known as algebraic structure. Right? This G star, it means that group yeah, that set with its operation is called a group for example if you want to check the set of natural numbers with the operation plus so we will write like this right so we will check whether g star is called a group if it satisfies the following axiom अब आपको अपने माइंड में ये बात याद रखनी है कि अगर आपको कभी भी प्रूव करना है कि एक जो सेट है डेट इज़ फॉर्मिंग अ ग्रुप देन वी हैव टू सेटिस्फाई द फोर प्रॉपर्टीज राइट इफ एनी ऑफ दिस प्रॉपर्टीज विल नॉट गेट सेटिस्फाई वी विल नॉट कंसीडर दैट सेट टू बी अ ग्रुप अगर एक भी प्रॉपर्टी नहीं सेटिस्फाई करती है एंड बाकी तीनों की तीनों प्रॉपर्टी सेटिस्फाई करती हैं तो भी हम उस सेट को कभी भी ग्रुप नहीं मानेंगे राइट सो लेट अस गो थ्रू द फोर मेन प्रॉपर्टीज टू प्रूव एनी सेट एज अ ग्रुप मुझे आई हैव रिटर्न द हेडिंग्स द फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी इज नोन एज क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टी व्हाट इज द क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टी इफ यू टेक एनी एलिमेंट्स ए एंड बी फ्रॉम दैट सेट फॉर एग्जांपल हियर आई एम टेकिंग विच सेट कैपिटल जी सो आई हैव टेकन A and B from the G group from the G set. Then what I have to do? I have to apply that operation. Here I am taking the operation as star. So I have to check after applying the operation between the two elements of the set, that element must also belong to that set. For example, if you take one and plus two. And that is three, and three also belongs to the set of natural numbers. So this is closer property. So what is the closer property? You have to take any two elements from the given set, and you have to apply the binary operation between the two elements. And after the operation, you have to check the required element should also belong to the given set. This is the closer property. So now, what is associative property? Associative property में जो मेन खेल है वो किसका है ब्रैकेट्स का वी हैव टू फेच थ्री एलिमेंट्स फ्रॉम द गिवन सेट ए बी एंड सी हियर आई हैव टेकन ए बी सी बिलोंगिंग टू कैपिटल जी व्हाट आई हैव टू चेक ए स्टार बी इन अ ब्रैकेट देन स्टार सी मस्ट बी इज इक्वल टू ए स्टार बी स्टार सी सो हाउ यू विल सॉल्व दिस यू विल सॉल्व दीज टू एलिमेंट्स फर्स्ट बाई यूजिंग द स्टार ऑपरेशन whatever you will get then you have to apply the star operation between the given result and the c element you will get the left hand side answer and then we will say solve the right hand side how you will solve the right hand side you will solve the last two elements first b star c you will get some answer and then that answer has to be applied uh, with star operation with a then that will give you the right hand side then we will solve individually left hand side and right hand side both uh, the sides must be same then that means associative property also hold the third property that is existence of identity beta identity ka matlab kya hota hai ki agar aap kisi bhi cheez ko same rakhte ho identity matlab same to ab agar addition hai addition mein agar main aapse puchu ki aisa kaun sa number hai jisse main 
किसी भी नंबर को ऐड करूं और वो नंबर बदले ना वो नंबर सेम रहे आई एम श्योर यू आर गेटिंग द आंसर येस डेट इज जीरो राइट अगर आप फाइव उठाते हो फाइव में अगर मैं जीरो ऐड करती हूँ द नंबर रिमेन्स फाइव अगर आप सिक्स उठाते हो सिक्स में अगर आप जीरो ऐड करते हो तो नंबर रिमेन्स सेम सिमिलरली इन केस ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन मल्टीप्लीकेशन में इफ यू वॉन्ट द सिमिलर नंबर देन द डैट नंबर इज वन फाइव इंटू वन इज फाइव सिक्स इंटू वन इज सिक्स तो एडिटिव आइडेंटिटी इज जीरो एंड मल्टीप्लीकेटिव आइडेंटिटी इज वन तो हाउ यू विल हैव टू चेक यू टेक एनी एलिमेंट फ्रॉम द यू टेक एनी एलिमेंट फ्रॉम द गिवन सेट एंड देयर विल डेफिनेटली एग्जिस्ट वन ई ई बिलोंगिंग टू डैट सेट सच डैट वेन यू मल्टीप्लाई द एलिमेंट विद द गिवन आइडेंटिटी डैट एलिमेंट विल रिमेन सेम either you do e star a or either you do a star e the answer will be same that is a right so if you are not getting identity then that means that uh, uh, set is not forming a group because we are not getting identity the last property that is existence of inverse इनवर्स हमें पास हमारे पास आना चाहिए अगर आप उस सेट में से बेटा कोई भी नंबर निकालते हैं उस सेट का इनवर्स आना चाहिए इनवर्स मतलब उसका उल्टा दैट इज रेसी प्रोपर फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू हैव फाइव तो बेटा फाइव का इनवर्स क्या होगा वन ओवर फाइव तो वेन यू विल मल्टीप्लाई यू विल गेट द मल्टीप्लीकेटिव आइडेंटिटी दैट इज वन सो वट आई हैव रिटर्न इफ यू टेक एनी एलिमेंट ए बिलोंगिंग टू डेट सेट देन देयर मस्ट एग्जिस्ट सम बी बिलोंगिंग टू जी सच डेट वेन यू मल्टीप्लाई दीज टू नंबर द आंसर मस्ट बी इज इक्वल टू द आइडेंटिटी whether it is additive identity or in or it is multiplicative identity it will be mentioned in the question which operation we have to apply additive or multiplicative right so these are the four properties of group so we will solve one example by using these properties we will solve uh, we will solve an example by checking whether that group is having closer property associative property multiplicative uh, uh, identity ya additive identity or existence of inverse so we will see the example now so as you can see i have clearly i have already written the statement of a question on the board the question is prove that the set of integers mark which set we have to consider the set of integers is a group अंडर द ऑपरेशन एडिशन एंड मल्टीप्लीकेशन मैंने दोनों ऑपरेशन यूज किए हैं आई हैव टू चेक वेदर द सेट ऑफ इंटीजर्स इज फॉर्मिंग अ ग्रुप अंडर एडिशन एंड मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो बोथ बिफोर आई स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन यू मस्ट बी क्लियर वट आर इंटीजर्स ऑल पॉजिटिव एंड ऑल नेगेटिव नंबर आर नोन एज इंटीजर्स हर पॉजिटिव और हर नेगेटिव नंबर को इंटीजर माना जाता है डेसीमल वाले कभी भी इंटीजर्स नहीं होते हैं सो लेट एस स्टार्ट एज आई टोल्ड यू इन द डेफिनेशन वी हैव टू चेक द फोर प्रॉपर्टीज सो फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी इज क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टी सो फर्स्टली वी विल चेक द क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टी तो बेटा व्हाट इज क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टी क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टी में वी हैव टू टेक एनी टू एलिमेंट फ्रॉम द गिवन सेट सो लेट एस टेक लेट स्मॉल ए एंड स्मॉल बी belonging to the set of integers you know is denoted by z belongs to z therefore we have to check whether a star what is star here firstly i will discuss addition operation a star b that is a plus b is belonging to the set of integers वैसे तो अगर हम अपने माइंड में सोचें you take any integers and check the sum of any two integers is always an integer so definitely in this closer property is getting satisfied so for example i can take one example also for example let a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2 therefore a star b that is a plus b that is 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 and we know clearly 3 belongs to the set of integers therefore the set of integers z satisfies closer 
property right so first set is uh, first uh, we have satisfied right the second property which was the second property associative property so beta associative property may what we have to take we have to take any three elements from the given set and clearly you know the addition of any three elements from the set of integers will also be the integer so let us take one example what we have to check here we let a b c belonging to the set of integers therefore we have to check a star b star c acha i am not using now star i am directly using the operation which was mentioned in the question a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c so now i can take any let a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 c is equal to 3 so let us check firstly we will solve the left hand side left hand side kya hai beta a plus b plus c now we will put the required values what is a 1 plus 2 plus 3 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 3 that is 6 so now we will check whether the right hand side is also coming out to be 6 or not so now we will solve the right hand side right hand side mein we have to check a plus b plus c right i hope you are understanding what is a 1 plus what is b 2 plus what is c that is 3 so it is 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 5 it is 6 here left hand side is equal to right hand side therefore set of integers satisfies associative property right beta so in this way we have checked the two properties of a group one is closure property and other one is associative property on the set of integers under the operation of addition now we will proceed with the third property we will move to the third property right i have already written the third property beta kaun si hoti hai hamari existence of identity so what does existence of identity states for every a belonging to the set of integers we must have e belonging to the set of integers such that a star e is equal to a is equal to e star a so let us take one example let us take a is equal to 1 and one belongs to the set of integers and corresponding to one we have to choose one element from the set of integers such that after adding that element to one that element one remains the same and you know what is additive identity that is zero so there exists zero belongings to the set of integers such that 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 and 0 plus 1 is also is equal to 1 which is of the form na a plus e is equal to a is equal to e plus a so therefore identity property satisfied so here 0 is my additive identity of the set of integers so in this way we were able to solve the existence of identity now the last part the last property to check whether the set of integers is a group or not that is inverse property existence of inverse inverse ke liye for every a belonging to z there exists b belonging to z acha i want to make one clarification for you beta here i have no doubt used b but i have written ki b ek inverse hai you can take anything you can write if b is inverse na you can denote b as a inverse also you can write x also you can write y also right so here b is a inverse such that when you apply the operation between these two elements then the result is identity so i explain with the help of an example let us take a is equal to for example 2 belongings to the set of integers 
now we have to think of any element from the set of integers such that when i add that element to this two then the result is additive identity and what is my additive identity zero so i know you can think of the element what will be the element that is minus 2 right so if a is 2 belonging to z there exists minus 2 belonging to the set of integers as i told you all positive and all negative numbers are set of integers so minus 2 belonging to integers such that 2 plus minus 2 is equal to 0 and minus 2 plus 2 is also is equal to 0 so therefore minus 2 is additive inverse of 2 so we have satisfied all the four properties of a group number 1 closest property number 2 uh associative property number 3 existence of identity and number 4 existence of inverse we have checked these four properties under the operation of addition right so we can clearly now say the all the four properties of the group get satisfied therefore the given set that is the set of integers clearly forms a group under the operation of addition right and now on the similar grounds we will check the whether the set of integers is forming a group under the operation of multiplication or not no doubt i have written prove that right but we will check whether it is forming or not forming right 